Welcome to another video of this series where we implement the live project showing you steps how to go about a project implementing a project in Cognos in the real time scenario. So make sure that you have watched the previous videos in order to understand fully this video. In this up to now, we have got the tables from the database. We created three layers, database layer, business layer and presentation layer. Then we pushed all the tables we got from the database under the database layer. And then we created or we, we changed the usage property of every column based on if it's an identifier attribute or a fact going ahead and uh, we will now create joints relationships between these tables click on the diagram you can see that we have database layer business layer and the presentation layer. These layers are empty for now. It does not have anything. We have database layer. So I'll just show you some basic features here. This is auto layout. We'll talk about it. This is set focal point. We'll talk about it. We can create folder namespaces directly from here. We don't need to do that right now. Also query subject, we'll talk about it during the, the video we create for business layer. And this is relationship for new join. I'm going to pick this. Please notice a small arrow on the mouse pointer. I'll show you again. There's no arrow on this mouse pointer. Now you have an arrow the mouse pointer. It is recommended to start from the dimension tables drag I'm just dragging I'm holding on to the left click of the mouse and drop it on the ID you need to create the join on. I'll show it to you again. Take this please Notice the arrow, the, the connector with the mouse pointer. And then there you go. It opens up a relationship definition and it shows the left table, which is customer ID from the DCUS table is joined to the customer ID to the F sales table. Always we have one to many relationship going in from the dimensions to the fact. This is the cardinality area where you can set this is many to many which is not recommended. Here this is one or like it's an outer join. So for now we'll keep one on the side of dimensions to many on size side of facts. You can see the expression here. And in the relationship SQL, the Cognos is going to generate the join relationships based on what we have mentioned in the in the join condition. So this is the join statement just go at the very end and you would see that the tcust table and the f sales table are joined on customer id and f sales customer id you can click on this test button to see a sample data and this would mean that most likely the joins are good 
assuming that you have incorrect joins example code to customer id which is not correct i'm just showing it to you here it says data mismatch so it's always recommended to go to the relationship sql to make sure that the joins which you have created is correct and click on test and make sure that the data comes up it as i said most likely the joins would be correct there would be cases wherein you would still see the data here but the joins aren't correct in this case it's correctly defined click on ok and you would see a line this red color is because we have selected the join it does not mean an error click outside you would see a black color if you want to activate it's just red color again this does not mean that it is in error next we're going to create a relationship between prod id which is the product id to the product id here so d prod to f sales will make one to many go to the relationship sql here and it says prod id to prod id say test click on ok and then date so for this date field there are two dates sale date and proc date for now just for the discussion we are going to create a link between date and the sale date in the next following set of videos we are going to create a join between this date also and i'll show you how to create aliases for now i'm creating relationship again from the date to the date sale decal date joined with date sale of f sales table cardinality again make sure you turn it to 1 is to n the relationship is created click on test there you go click on ok now if I click on this button which is auto layout it tells me you want to do a layout style of standard or star schema I would go to star schema say apply you can see that the tables on the screen overlap so increase the sibling distance still not good I can increase the distance even more this is okay and you can see it's a star schema model in the next set of videos we are going to define the business layer and then we'll do the presentation layer before we publish the package Keep watching.